Hello everyone, my name is the Independent Kid, and today my presentation is about The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. Here's a list of all the books that he has written, apart from Aragon's Guide to Alagasia. He has written Aragon, Eldest, Bersinger, and Inheritance. Here's a post board I made for The Inheritance Cycle. Here's the plot of the first book, Aragon. There is a boy named Aragon who finds a mysterious blue stone in a mysterious place called the Spine. It eventually hatches into a bright blue scaled dragon, and a friend called Brom helps him on his quest to find the Varden, rebels against the evil empire of Galvatorix. Later, Brom dies from a fatal wound from evil things called the Razak. Aragon then successfully makes it to the Varden, but while there finds out his new traveling companion, is the son of Morzan, an evil traitor to the Dragon Riders. His name is Murtag. Here's a summary of Book 2, Eldest. After training in the Varden, Aragon travels to Elismira to train more. He finds survivors there, a dragon and a rider. Meanwhile, his hometown of Carval Hall is attacked, and his cousin Rorin rallies the villagers to travel to the Varden. When they arrive, Murtag and his new dragon, Thorn, are fighting Aragon and Sephira. Murtag beats Aragon, and Aragon's sword, Zerok, is taken by Murtag. Here's the third book, Bersinger. Aragon gets a temporary sword, but later the Varden are attacked again by Murtag and Thorn. Aragon almost wins, but Murtag escapes at the last minute. Aragon is then sent to Farthendor, the city of the dwarves, to oversee the election of a new dwarf king. He decides to back Auric, his friend. Auric does win, but later Aragon and his guards are attacked and Aragon's temporary sword breaks. Sephira, his dragon, then flies over to Aragon and takes him to Elasmira, the city of the elves. Aragon's education is completed there by the dragon rider, and he even gets a new sword named Bersinger. I didn't write the summary for the fourth book because one, I haven't finished reading it, and two, I didn't want to spoil the whole thing since I want you guys to read this too. Here's an image of Aragon. He is human, he's from Palenker Valley, his father is Morzan, the dragon rider who betrayed the other dragon riders to Galbatorix, the evil king. His cousin is Rorin, son of Garo. His worst enemies are Murtag and the Razak. Just keep in mind, some facts do change as you read on in the inheritance cycle. Here's an image of Aragon and Sephira that I made using a computer. What is Aragon holding in his right hand? Well, that would be the sword Brissinger, and this is how I imagine Brissinger would look. Here is Warren. He is a human. He's the cousin of Aragon. His father is Garrow, and he's the husband of Katrina. He's also known as Stronghammer, since he goes into battle with a hammer. Here's a digital image of Rorin. As you can see, it's the same uh, character model as Aragon, but he has a beard, and he has a hammer. Here's Auric. He is a dwarf, and he's King Hrothgar's adopted son. King Hrothgar was the previous king of dwarves. Aragorn is Auric's foster brother, and Auric is from the dwarf clan Dimgrunst in Jitum. Auric is also a good friend of Aragorn. Here's Arya. She is an elf. She's over 100 years old. She is the daughter of the Queen of Elzmira, and she ferried Sephira's egg until she was attacked by Urgul, and she transported it to the spine with magic. Later, that's where Aragorn finds it. Arya is actually the elf that Aragorn rescues in the first book. Here we have Murtag. He is human, he's Aragorn's older brother, and he's the son of Morzan. He's been forced to work for Galvatorix, and his power has been heightened by magic. Here is an image of Murtag. And what is he holding in his right hand? Well, that would be Zara. My personal favorite sword in the whole inheritance cycle, and here it is. That is Zerok. And here's the digital image of Brom. Here are the three dragons. 
Over on the left, we have Sephira. She is Aragon's dragon. She is a very light blue color and has a very strong mental connection with Aragon. Down, we have Glader. He's a male dragon. He's Ormus's dragon and has gold coloring. And on the right, we have Thorn. He's Murtag's dragon. He has a strong red color and his growth and strength has been artificially increased via magic. Here's a digital image I made of Sephira. Here's a digital image I made of Thor. And finally, my personal favorite digital image I made of Glader. Now this is Glader. This is before the fall of the Dragon Rider since he still has both his front legs. Now Glader is a very big dragon as you can see here. Here's a scene of Sephira versus Shrukin. Shuriken is Galbatorix's dragon, and in this scene, Sephira and Shuriken are battling, and Sephira is down there, blasting fire up at Shuriken. Shuriken is the biggest dragon in the whole inheritance cycle, and he is very black and has creepy orange eyes. Here are all the six settings, the six main settings. The whole book is based in a fictional place called Elegasia. On the right, top right, we have Elasmira, the dwelling of the elves. They sing to trees using magic to twist them into shapes that they want. Next, on the top left, we have the spine. Spine is an evil place next to Carvel Hall, which is right down from the spine. Carvel Hall is a little village which Aragorn grew up in. To the right of Carvel Hall, we have Farthendor. Farthen Door is the dwelling of the dwarves. As you can see, it's very tunnely, very, very tunnely. And that little ball of weirdness that you see at the top is actually the Star Rose, one of the most treasured possessions of the dwarves. Right below it is Helgrin, the dwelling of the evil Razak. It's basically a huge black thing of stone coming up from the earth, and I drew a, a, a storm around it just for effect. And to the left of Helgrin, we have the Hadrak Desert and the Beer Mountains. Hadrak Desert is a wide expanse of desert, and the Beer Mountains are one of the tallest things in Allegasia. Here are a couple facts about Christopher Paolini. He is the writer of the Inheritance Cycle, and he wrote Aragon at only 15 years old. He was inspired by many fantasy books to write Aragon. Some of his favorites are The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien and Fablehaven by Brandon Mole and E.B. Stevens. He was even homeschooled. Here's a picture of Christopher Paolini. Thanks for watching.